What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. A while back, a really long while back actually, I made a video talking about Riot wanting to make every ability a skill shot. Because at the time the Rise rework was taking place and there were a bunch of abilities being nerfed into skill shots to make the design of the abilities more manageable to balance. And it was an interesting trend that popped up in Riot's design decisions about a year ago or so. And while skill shots are great and all, there's a new obsession for Riot games when it comes to designing their abilities that I'm starting to notice pop up in a lot of cases. And that is giving an ability or giving abilities a delay on their interactions. Let's get started. Now the most obvious example of this mechanic is Rework Tarek. His ultimate has a 2.5 second delay before activating, and his stun also has a delay on it before activating as well. But in addition to Tarek, we're actually seeing it on a lot of other abilities too. In the upcoming Vladimir rework, his E is being given a delay. I mean, the new brand passive kind of works on a delay. Heck, even Malzahar's W kind of works on a delay, sort of. And there's dozens more. You got like Echo's W, Jin's E, and there's more, but by now you get the idea. All of these abilities share the concept of having a delay on them. What I mean by having a delay is that some part of the ability activates and then nothing happens for a while until a second or two later, the ability finally activates a second time with a meaningful effect. So for example, how Tark's new stun shows like an indicator for a bit without doing anything, and then after a short period of time it procs, stuns the target's hit and then does some damage. This is a mechanic that is not new to League of Legends. It was used in the past and is periodically given to champions here and there. However, recently, we're seeing this kind of concept exist in almost half, if not an actual majority of the newer champions and reworks that are coming out, ever since around the second half of 2015 or so. It's an interesting mechanic, but I'm not entirely sold on its design. Let's take a look at the positives of this mechanic first, since there's actually a lot more than there are negatives. When you give an ability a delay, it makes the ability very interactive for any opponents facing it. The ability is completely telegraphed and you're given a window of time to react or prepare for the actual activation. You see it coming from a mile away since it has this huge delay on it rather than activating or just being thrown out instantly. And that type of design is really healthy gameplay since it's extremely interactive for anyone facing it, which is definitely the biggest reason why Riot is using this mechanic so often now. It's incredibly fair to play against, and as a result it allows you to create an ability that is much more exciting or honestly just flat out more powerful because you have that delay on it. Instead of being a single target stun, by giving Tark stun a delay and making it interactive in the way that it is, you can make it an area of effect stun and have it deal more damage, instead of just having it be a single target stun that does an extremely negligible amount of damage. Or instead of making his ultimate single target like say for example Kale's ultimate, you can have it affect multiple allies if not your entire team because of the delay. Those are traits of those abilities, Tark's E and his ultimate respectively, that otherwise would not be allowed to exist if they just activated instantly. If you made Tark's stun or ultimate exactly the same as it is now, but instead of it having a delay on it, you would just click the button and it gets activated instantly, those abilities would be broken beyond belief. And now I'm not arguing that they are or are not broken even with the delay on them, but they are allowed to exist in the way that they do because there is a delay on them. And this mechanic allows Riot to create some very interesting abilities with extremely powerful effects, without the abilities actually being that overpowered, since the interaction creates this gameplay dynamic that makes it very fair to play against. And it's definitely easy for me to see why Riot is starting to use this mechanic a lot more, because honestly, it's just good design, on paper at least. But they're becoming a little bit obsessed with it, especially with Tarek, and this type of mechanic definitely does have some downsides to it. When you make an ability have a delay on it, it might be fantastic design in terms of playing against that ability, but it's not really the best design when it comes to playing as that character. These types of abilities typically feel slow to play with, and because of the delay, they're unresponsive. You can't just press a button and have something happen, you have to strategically plan and set up for your ability to actually land properly. And that type of design is at risk of feeling unsatisfying to play with. Having an ability act instantly and using it to score a kill, 
or make a play is an awesome feeling that gets lost with this type of design. It's definitely somewhat of a trade-off, and although I say that this type of mechanic is healthy design, that definitely doesn't make it the best design. Now I know for a fact that Riot takes both playing as and playing against a character when they are designing them, and if you had to pick, they probably design more for the playing against feeling actually, at least that's according to what Riot Xenon said, who's a head champion designer. And with that said, the lackluster feeling that you get when you use those abilities with delays on them is contradicted by the idea that if the ability actually does land, the reward is this massive payoff. Something like Tarek's stun is incredibly satisfying to land on multiple targets. Just how Echo's stun feels super awesome to land on a target. And the reason why they feel so awesome to actually land is because although they are difficult to land, the actual payoff when you finally do is incredible. If you are playing as Tarek and you get a double stun bot lane on your opponents as support, you're not losing that fight. Similar to how if you're playing like say AP Echo in the mid lane and you stun your opponent with your W, you're not losing that fight to them in a 1v1. And those effects that are essentially quite overloaded and just incredibly powerful are only allowed to exist in a kit because of the delay on the interaction. Now is that flat out better than just making a weaker ability that is instant? Yes and no, it really depends on what the champion is trying to accomplish. It does create this dynamic of trying to set things up to land the perfect combo, but it also makes the ability a lot more situational. You have to plan ahead and think what you're going to be doing and where you'll be positioning in a few seconds, as well as where your opponent's going to be. It creates almost like this mind game of prediction, and I know Riot actually really enjoys making mind games of predictions within their abilities. However, for a character like, say for example, Yasuo, this type of mechanic would be terrible. It would feel super clunky and be extremely frustrating to play with in his kit. And that's because Yasuo is a very fast character. He acts and reacts incredibly fast, and in a fight he's using an incredible amount of spell cast between his super low cooldown Q, his spammable E, and his wind wall which absolutely has to be instant, otherwise that ability would just be useless, and not to mention the cycling of his auto attacks. This mechanic of giving an ability or abilities a delay is great if you want a more slow paced, strategic style of gameplay, but it really suffers when you're trying to create a mechanically intensive, more chaotic style of gameplay. There's no denying that this type of mechanic is very healthy design, and it's probably one of if not the actual best example I could use to explain to someone the difference between healthy and unhealthy gameplay, but I'd like to see maybe more mechanically intensive champions that create almost a chaotic type of playstyle in a sense, where you have really short cooldowns and you always have something to do in a fight. Riot's going a little bit overboard with this mechanic of giving a delay, and although it's definitely for good reason, and it's probably not too much of a problem just yet, I'm all for diversifying your design styles and creating different types of strategies in gameplay, and if they remain obsessed with this mechanic, I'm just worried that it's going to get stale and result in unsatisfying champions. So what do you think about this design mechanic? Is it fun? Not so fun? Leave a comment, and if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, and if you didn't, hit that dislike. Subscribe if you want, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.